Y'all already know the vibe. This part two is gonna be part two for the 2015 Y. Um, I mean, KX 450. You know what I'm saying? Um, with this bike, y'all know. Um, I had started it off with a test ride video because you know the customer said the bike was overheating and you know bogging and stuff like that. But the bike ended up never overheating on me, y'all. Uh, you know, bogging. So um, what we gonna do today with this bike? We gonna um, I'm gonna change, put a new chain. Yeah, put a new chain on it. That chain is you know definitely over with. Corroded, rusty. So we gonna put a new chain on it. Um, another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check the valve clearances. You know what I'm saying? Just, just double check the, the valve clearances on it. And um, that's pretty much it with this bike. Oh, and another thing, his gas cap be leaking too. So I'm gonna see if I could get a, a get a rubber seal for that gas cap so it won't leak when you're riding or whatever. But um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna put some oil in it too. Yeah, I'm gonna put some oil in it because it looks like it's kind of low on oil. So I'm gonna add some oil, the cooling is full. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it with this one. Other than that, y'all already know the vibes. I'm gonna tap back in. I got the cam cover off, y'all. And, um, you know, I got everything at top desk. And one thing I noticed with the valves, y'all, uh, his valves is too loose. You know what I'm saying? His valves is too loose. You know what I'm saying? Look how that's, that's, that's sliding too easy. Look. And that's for the exhaust valve spec, you know what I'm saying? His valves is too loose. And what that could do, that could cause, like, a, um, you know, that will cause a lack of power. Because if the valves is too loose, um, it'll cause, like, a small ticking noise with the valves. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do a valve adjustment on this bike because the valves is too loose. But, um, yeah, y'all, other than that, y'all already know the vibes. I'm going to do the valve adjustment, and I'm going to tap back in. Y'all already know the vibes. I got everything back together. You know what I'm saying? I went ahead and did the valve adjustment, everything. Um, I went ahead and throw the chain on, you know what I'm saying? Brand new chain, brand new chain, nice and tight. You know what I'm saying? I went ahead and put some screws on the fenders and stuff like that, y'all, cause you know, the zip ties was on the fenders. Um, I, rented, I went ahead and put a rubber gasket inside the gas cap, put a, a vent, a vent um, hose on the gas cap for them. Um, yeah, and I went ahead and put oil in it too, you know what I'm saying, because it was a little low on oil, but yeah, other than that, and one more thing I just want to tell y'all too, with his throttle, his throttle housing, his, um, yeah, his throttle housing, it was turned downwards, you know what I'm saying, it would turn, this piece right here was turned downwards, and what that do y'all, that could, um, that could affect like the response of the throttle when you hit the gas and stuff like that, like, especially for like, um, wheel standing and stuff, catwalking and stuff like that, that would affect the response, you know what I'm saying, that, you always want your housing to be like this, you know what I'm saying, in the upper position. You never want it down, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, other than that, y'all, we're gonna see if we got the V-touch, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna see if we got the V-touch and see how it sounds, if it sounds more powerful or less powerful. Y'all let me know in the comments. Yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it right there, you know what I'm saying? This thing got the V-touch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely sound powerful. I'm not gonna lie, that kid definitely sound real powerful now. But yeah, man, other than that, y'all already know the vibes, man. We gotta do another test run on this bike. You know what I'm saying? Even though we did the test run the first time, but it's definitely a difference. I know it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Because the valves was, the, val the valve clearance was too loose on this bike, y'all. Like, real talk, it was too loose. And that'll take away some power, like I told y'all. So now I know the bike is definitely more responsive. But yeah, man, other than that, man, y'all need anybody's work, um, fixed or worked on anything, y'all hit me up, man, on Instagram. Get it in gear cycles. You know what I'm saying? The V-touch, man. But other than that, y'all already know the vibes, man. We're going to go from there.